Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure PHP and PHP FPM on an Nginx web server. I'm going to be using Ubuntu 20.04 in this tutorial video. Other versions of Ubuntu should work as well as other types of Debian operating systems. And the thing is, I'm going to take this a step further. I'm not only going to show you how to do this for a single version of PHP, but if you have multiple websites that require different versions of PHP, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Um, right here at this IP address, I have, you know, just the basic Nginx landing page. Okay. And over here, I have a terminal window where I'm logged in via SSH to that server. And the first thing, um, Let's just see what type of PHP is installed on the system by default. And uh, we can do that with which PHP. And you'll see that there is no output from that command. So that means PHP is not installed. So in order to install PHP, let's go ahead and first update our package lists with sudo apt, or sudo apt update. Um, I'm actually not going to be doing any sudo commands in this tutorial because I am logged in as root. So um, now that we have the latest list of available software let's do an apt install php 7.4 and we will also want to do a php 7.4 dash fpm to get php fpm as well um, 18 megabytes of space this shouldn't take too long to install and um, when that's done we can see what was installed we'll show you a couple things that are critical like pieces of information that are on the operating system here. Um, one of them is the PHP FPM socket. So if we look at var run PHP, whoops, PHP, and in here we'll see that there is a file called PHP 7.4 FPM sock. So we're gonna actually reference that in our Apache or our Nginx configuration file. So let's do that next. Let's go to the ETC Nginx sites available directory and in here um, if you want to use your own configuration file that's fine but for this tutorial I'm just going to use the default one very basic um, nginx configuration file here what this this only right now this only handles um, serving html files and other types of files non php files basically so uh, we have the root of our website here our index file is index.html, which we'll have to change that. Um, but what we want to do is uh, add another location block, kind of like this one, ju just for specifically PHP files. So I'm going to copy and paste that in here. So we have a location block that pretty much handles any type of file that ends in .php, which is PHP files. We're going to include um, this, this relative directory and file. Uh, for fast CGI PHP configuration, uh, which exists as part of the default Nginx installation. And then we will reference that socket that we just looked at, the PHP 7.4 FPM socket. So um, that looks good. Let's, uh, let's also add to our index list, index.php. Okay, let's save that file. We'll do a system CTL reload Nginx to apply those changes. And now let's go ahead and create a PHP file in the root of our website. So as you remember, that is in the var www HTML directory. And we have that uh, index.html file. Let's get rid of that and make a new file called index.php. And we will do a very basic um, PHP file here. We'll just create our PHP block and then do PHP, we'll call the PHP info command, which is just gonna spit out a web page with all of the um, information about PHP, the web server, stuff like that. So very good, we'll save that. Now back here in our web browser, let's refresh the page. And instead of seeing this because we deleted that HTML file, we should see the PHP info uh, spit out. And there we do see that. So uh, at the very top, you can see that we are indeed uh, running successfully PHP version 7.4.3. And um, we also have our uh, references to PHP FPM in here as well. So um, at this point, that is really all the basics that you need to know about installing PHP, PHP FPM, and configuring it for Nginx uh, on Ubuntu in this case. 
Um, I'm gonna, and, and that's fine. If that's all you need, then feel free to leave the video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, but if you wanna learn how to do this for another version of PHP, there's a couple of different gotchas here, um, then I invite you to continue on with the tutorial. And again, this is if you want to run multiple different versions of PHP or even maybe just upgrade your PHP version. So um, let's go ahead and take care of that next. I'm gonna pull up the terminal window again. Whoops, not that uh, terminal window here. And what we're gonna do is in order to install a different version of PHP that is not um, the one that the version that comes you know standard with your Ubuntu or the one that's recommended by Ubuntu, I should say, um, we have to add additional software repositories to our system. So we can do that with uh, sudo. You don't need. I don't need to do sudo. It doesn't hurt to do it. Um, add apt repository. And then ppa colon andre o n d r e j dash or slash forward slash php. Okay, and that's going to um, ask us if that's something that we want to do. Hit enter to continue. And again, this is going to um, give us the ability to install other software that is not part of the default package list for Ubuntu. Okay, so with that in place, now we can do an apt install. PHP, and we're going to do, in this case, PHP 8.0, the latest version at this time, and then PHP 8.0-FPM. And just like before, this will take uh, just a few seconds to install. 20 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. And um, when that's done, uh, we'll go through the similar process. So we'll, we'll check to see that that socket exists, the new socket. So we have a socket for 7.4 and a socket for 8.0. Um, we'll check to make sure that it exists. And then we'll edit our configuration file and add uh, some, web so some website files. So let's check the socket file first so we can look in the var. Uh, what was it? The p run PHP directory and in here. Uh, let's see, we have our, yep, we have our PHP 7.4 FPM socket and our 8.0 FPM socket. So, knowing that, we can go back into the etc nginx sites available directory and um, actually let's cd into that directory and we'll just make a copy of the default configuration and we'll make a new configuration file. We'll just call it um, newsite.conf. And that way we can just make a few changes in here. So, um, yeah, if we had a different, if we have multiple domain names, you can you don't have to listen on a different port. You could actually have multiple websites listening on port 80 on the same server. But just for the sake of this tutorial, let's listen on a different port. We'll listen on port 8001. We'll change. Uh, we'll add a new uh, website root directory. We'll put that at var www new site. This looks good for the index line. Um, and then down here, what we want to change is instead of using the 7.4 socket, we'll change that to the 8.0 FPM socket. So I think that's all we have to change in here. Let's go ahead and save that. And for Nginx, in order to, uh, when you create a new configuration file, in order to apply that change, we have to link from the sites available directory to the sites enabled directory, which is right here. So we'll just make a sim, sim link from um, etc nginx sites available new site.conf to etc nginx sites enabled and then if we check in the sites enabled directory we will see that we have our new site linked in there so um, with that in place let's go ahead and do a reload of nginx with system sys system ctl reload Nginx to apply those changes. Whoops, what did I do wrong? System CTL reload Nginx. Okay, that's better. Um, now Nginx knows that we made those changes. One last thing, let's go into the var www directory and make a new directory in here called new site. And inside of new site, we'll just make a index.php file and same thing as before, we'll create a PHP block in here and we will call the PHP info um, function. So we'll save that 
now. I think we're done in the terminal window, so we'll minimize that. Our old site here at PHP 7.4 uh, should work on port 80, and it still does. Um, if we copy this IP address, open up a new tab, paste it in, and go to port 8001, we will see that this page is being loaded with PHP version 8.0, a different version than PHP 7.4, and um, you'll see that we also have those PHP FPM references in here as well. So guys, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I have other PHP videos, which you should check out over here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.